Hello guys and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to be learning how to create this design uh, in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, and we're going to learn one new tool, which is the Shape Builder tool, which will aid us in creating this design. So just come on Adobe Illustrator, create your new file and import your reference file, which we did the last time. All you need to do is come to file and then place and come to project files and select this one this one which says your first drawings in illustrator reference image tool so select it and click on template and then please so it's going to place it uh, just like we have it here okay now the first thing to do is of course to come to the rectangle tool and create your your rectangle like this or your square okay so now um, how does the shape builder tool work okay so let me just demonstrate how the shape builder tool works so let's assume we have two shapes or let's say three shapes like this and we have them with different colors let's give this guy no stroke ah, sorry no stroke and make this one green then let's see no stroke and make it music orange this guy no stroke and let's see we want it to be black okay great now this is the shape builder tool this is the shape builder tool the one you see here okay, now this is the shape builder tool and when you select the tool first of all you have to select the shapes you want to use it use the tool on and then select the tool now what the tool does is it creates shapes based on the arrangements of shapes we have on our uh, workspace okay so when we select the shapes and select the tool we can just click on one shape and add it to another shape now you see the both shapes are the same so i'm just going to undo and so also like this you see now the shapes are now the same you can just drag it around all of them now you see all of them are now the same shapes okay so um what you can also do with the shape builder tool is you can minus shapes from each other okay so when you hold down alt and then click here you see that it, it has minus this intersection okay i'm just going to undo and then just hold down alt okay when i hold down alt instead of this uh plus icon it's going to show the minus icon which signifies of subtraction okay the plus signifies addition which means it's going to add shapes together while the minus shows subtraction which means it's going to subtract shapes from each other so when i hold alt and drag the shapes like this we can see that it has subtracted this whole ship from the one we have here and one other thing we can do with the ship builder tool is to add colors okay so let's assume we have this color let's assume we choose the color here we can use the shape builder tool to add the color okay give display the color and just based on the colors we want we can choose a color and okay yeah so basically this is how this is one of the um one of the uses of the shape builder tool apart from creating shapes based on intersections and based on um, the arrangement of, of the shapes of different shapes which we have it can also be used to uh, kind of add colors to specific points okay so just delete this demonstration we have here and come on your ellipse tool and kind of creates oh, your ellipse let's make it this big okay and then i think we have to make it bigger a bit a bit bigger yeah now uh, let's give it a stroke color let's swap the color and make it a stroke color and just ctrl c and ctrl f and reduce the size like this while holding down alt and shift reduce the size like this 
okay and then um, let's just control C and control F again and just let's just make this one um, smaller okay we're going to increase the size later on but let's work with this first so the first thing you want to do is select this and swap back the color and give it let's see a blue color and select this guy and swap back the colors to okay so the first thing you can do is just select both of them okay select both of them and select your shape builder tool and holding down alt you click here now we have a cut in the middle here now and the same thing you can do here so select this one give it the fill color back and select the other shape and select your shape builder tool holding down alt you can minus this shape from the entire shape now as you can see we now have two different shapes okay and of course we want more cuts at this point right so we just select the both of them come to file uh, come to windows and pathfinder and let's just divide okay so when we divide we then have our separate shapes like this okay now um, just kind of swap the colors to us to see what's going on under and for this other one all we then need to do right now is just make it bigger as big as this and then just send it to the back right click and arrange send to back okay so it appears beneath all these other ships now this one we need to give it a purple okay let's just undo them for now sorry ungroup them for now and then give this guy an orange color okay give an orange color give this guy a purple color and then give this guy a yellow color let's choose this sheet of yellow so all you then need to do is to select all of them i'm sorry just select each of them and swap back the colors good <clears throat> and now when we disable our template layer we then see our awesomeness uh, enable it back and we can just do the the same thing for this other part okay so you can actually create them from scratch i recommend we do so and we can also actually just um, kind of group them together and then just duplicate them like this and then just rotate them like this and fit them together like this. You know, fit them perfectly. And that instead of redoing everything, and I feel we should just, uh, yeah, make do with this. So once more, you can just swap the colors let's ungroup you we just swap all the colors so as to see what colors we have to use for these ones okay for this guy we use um, let's see a brighter shade of orange okay and for this guy we use yellow for this guy we use a brighter blue and for this guy we use um, a purple and swap back our colors <coughs> yo and finally we have this shape here and of course you know how to achieve this right we did it in our last video just drag it out like this give it a black stroke and then control c control f which is copy and paste in front and then make it uh, rotated like this while holding down shift of course then select the both of them control c control f hold down shift and rotate like this then select all of them again Control c Control f and just um, adjust them like this and yeah we're done with our second design and looks 
very uh, perfect yeah so um in this video we were able to work with the pathfinder tool again and also we were able to learn about uh, the ship builder tool hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads we post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration motion graphics and video branding and more if you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes live chat with us shout outs and more consider becoming a patron on patreon you can join for as little as three dollars a month and the link to our patreon page is in the description below and if you want to take your learning to the next level you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of and in the complete course you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons project files and resources class exercises a q a section a certificate of completion and more you can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video Bye for now.